could join us again. I am Jameer. And I'm Deandra. And we thank you for tuning in to Meet the Nicholsons. Uh, we are right here in uh, Orlando, Florida. Yes, Orlando, Florida. Uh, and we have decided to check out the vegan scene. We are here at Dharma. two different, yeah, we, we're here at two <laughs> different locations. We got uh, Dharma, Fine Vittles, and Valhalla Bakery. Excellent so, stuff. Uh, mm. We're going to try it out. We hear his excellent stuff, so y'all just gonna have to come in with us. We're gonna go through the back entrance, and uh, yeah, you hear the traffic out here. It's a busy road, but we're gonna make the best of it. All right, let's go. See you soon. This gets messy, y'all. I'm sorry. Okay. How is it? It tastes like a real chili dog. Mm. Chili cheese dog. Mm. I would give it... Mm. I don't know. I can, I can barely tell that it's plant-based. The chili has... Um, a little bit of spice in it the coleslaw is sweet so it accents the flavors um i would give it about a nine out of ten for hot dogs and the pretzel bun is really good i love pretzel bun so gotcha. gotta try to flow a dog whenever you come to dharma so i have the crunchy brussels sprouts So there's a kind of a sweet glaze, but then there's also, I taste a little saltiness in it. It's really good. It's not as crunchy as I thought it would be, but if you are a Brussels sprout fan, you will enjoy it. It's good. I would give it a seven out of 10. Next up, we have a home fried side. Um, we'll flash the name up on the screen for you guys. It's such a cool name. But it's potatoes with scallions and then a cashew cheese sauce. So let's try this. Mmm. And there's some buffalo sauce on top too. 
I gotta try that again, y'all. Hold on. Mmm. The cheese sauce is creamy. The potato. This is good. This is good. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I would definitely give this about a nine and a half so close to ten the flavors are really good the cheese sauce is creamy the buffalo sauce is a little spicy and then the scallions put that delicious onion flavor that you need it, it's good it's really good there's three types of macaroni that they have uh, traditional which I guess is cheesy then they have a garlic macaroni and then also a buffalo macaroni so I chose the garlic macaroni so let's begin Try it again. The flavor is very mild, so I can't really taste um, the garlic. It's it's good. It's good. The the, the cheese sauce is creamy. Um, if you like mild flavors, I would go with that. The lady in the front said that the buffalo was really really good. Had a lot of flavor to it. I would rate this. Probably about a six out of ten, but it is it is good. So here I have the DFC bowl. We'll flash the contents on the screen. Um, but here is some charred corn, mashed potatoes, fried onions, macaroni and cheese, and then their chicken tenders. So I'm gonna dig in. Delicious. Like it just came off the grill. Mmm. Garlic mashed potatoes have a strong garlic flavor. It's really good. Got the fried onion here. Mmm. It's good. And this is the traditional mac and cheese. Mmm. You know what? I can taste the garlic. This might be the garlic mac and cheese. It is very good. It has like a tangy flavor and then also you can taste the garlic above it. So it's really good. It's good. And then look at that chicken. Look at the detail in that. That looks just like a piece of real fried chicken. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. Mm. Look at that. Oh my goodness. This is so good. The chicken, hands down, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I'm gonna try it with the homemade ranch sauce that they have. Mmm. Oh my God. <laughs> mm. Mm. This is so good. If you are in the Orlando area, you have to come to Dharma's to try the fried chicken. You have to. This is no joke. 10 out of 10 for the chicken. 10 out of 10 for the ranch sauce. It's it's off the chain, y'all. Mm. So So we are here at Dharma Fine Vittles, and uh, this is in Orlando, I believe. Uh, I'm trying out the uh, DFC box, Dharma Fried Chicken. Uh, you can check it out here. Uh, keep sticking to the table, but you can check that out. I got barbecue cauliflower, pickles, and a homemade biscuit. I'm gonna try the wing first, and then uh, we're gonna dip it in that ranch and see how that tastes. He gave y'all the preview. I mean, this is it's unbelievable. The texture, everything is right on. Like, it's hard to believe it's not meat. The buffalo uh, sauce on it is just right. Uh, I'm gonna try it with the ranch mix. If y'all excuse me. Mm. Definitely a must try. I give it 10 out of 10. If you had these at any like uh, 
Super Bowl parties, things like that. It's a must have. It definitely is a must have. I'm gonna try the biscuit now, the homemade biscuit. Bit of sweet taste in it too. That biscuit dough taste kind of is super soft and a crispy ins outside, a soft inside. It's excellent. And that one for the biscuits, I haven't tasted many biscuits, but this one is the Rain Enchant right now. I don't know how much better it can be, but so I'll stay safe at about, I'll give it about an eight and a half. Let's, let's stay right there just because I would give it a 10, but I'll say it's a 10 just because it's my first one, but an eight and a half just to stay safe, if that makes sense. But nonetheless, it's excellent. Uh, next, I'm gonna try this uh, barbecue cauliflower. Mm. I don't know what the sauce is on the top. But I gotta try it again. Mm. It's nice and buttery. The soft texture with that barbecue that, that that flavor just kicks in and then the sauce i'm gonna try to post it on there somehow to figure out what kind of sauce this is it's amazing um, i'm not a fan of like soft textures but this is really good i want to give it about i'll give it about a, a seven and a half i'll do that it, it, it really is good <laughs> They have Valhalla Bakery Goods, and we're gonna try some of them. I'm so excited. <laughs> so first up, I'm gonna try the chocolate sprinkled donut, and it looked like it's been glazed. Can I tell you this is 100% plant-based eating? Look at that. So I'm gonna take a big old bite out of this real quick. <laughs> It's really good. It tastes like it has hints of coffee in it. The chocolate is very rich. The donut is soft. Very good. Very good. So next up we have the coconut cream pie. This is so good. It's milky, it's creamy, it tastes buttery. I, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Gotta come here for this, 10 out of 10. So I am here, we are uh, at Valhalla Bakery. Uh, it's vegan. And you saw what they tried. I'm gonna try something a little bit different. These guys have a cookie. Now, what is this, babe? I don't remember. We'll have to put it in the description. You it's called the babe. Kitchen Sink Cookie, Kitchen and it's sink. chocolate chip with pretzel, pecan, sea salt. Everything. Let's <laughs> try it out. Mm. That's good. I'll tell you what I like the most. I'm a soft batch guy. I don't like, like crunchy cookies too much. This is right on the money. The taste is sweet. You can taste the salt in it. It has the, the chocolate, uh, I don't know, that's not even chocolate chips, but it has the chocolate in it. And let me get another bite so I can taste the pretzel in it. Hmm. It's like the perfect blend with the salt and the sweet. That salty and sweet combo is excellent. And the soft batch, to me, I give this about a 9 out of 10. This is, this is really good. Excellent. Plain <laughs> good. Alright, so we got the uh, 
birthday cake cupcake. I'm not a big fan of these, but let's try it out, see if they can change my mind. Now, I don't believe it. This can't be vegan. It's excellent. Like, I'm talking about this is top quality. It's amazing. I would give, the way this cupcake tastes, I would give that a 10. Out of 10. Like I said, I'm not even a big fan of the birthday cake, but it's moist. Consistency is great. Cream is sweet. I'm not annoyed by the sprinkles. It's, it's amazing. It's actually good. Uh, Valhalla Bakery is all right with me. Mm. It's good.